other chose someone that had these types of issues. What do y'all think about that? Like, and then now you... Is it like a it's genetically it, you're attracted to this type of person? Like Does generational, like it's psycho continuous. Well, I mean, okay, so attraction really has a lot to do with genetics. Like um, your pheromones, like that is what initially attracts you to somebody. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It could be the pitch of their voice, their natural mm -hmm. sense. You know, that's why they say um, if you go on birth control while you're in a relationship, if you get off birth control while in that same relationship, yes. you might not be attracted, attracted to your to partner anymore person. because they change your that body changes. chemistry. Yes. Oh, I never heard of that Damn. before. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Think about it. Yeah, I never heard Think of that about before. it. Like, true. Think about it. <laughs> if you use on birth control, yes. Because hey, it yes, changes it your is, body it chemistry, changes. it changes your hormones. You would not have went with that. that so is that why a lot of people, when they had a kid, they don't be with after the baby. It's yes, no it's man. over. And once you got that birth control and your hormones go back down to where it should be, you start looking at shit very clear, more clear. Like, why the fuck the baby I put up to it? From experience or something. Well, who mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I got out birth control, I would say that a lot of stuff changed in my mind. Really? Yes, yeah, I can for agree sure. with that one. You too. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I've never been on birth control ever. So, ever? You never took a plan B? No, nah, is that birth control? <laughs> 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 you consider <laughs> That's not considered birth control. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, I mean, yes, that is considered birth control, and that definitely affects your hormones too. I mean, I've taken birth control before, but um, I do know that, like I said, it affects your your natural hormones. And like I was watching this show called The Science of Attraction; it's really good. So like they would um had these people like sweat in some shirts or whatever, and then they like take the shirts, let them dry, and then let the women smell the shirts, and then pick their partner based on the smell. Because like I said, a lot of your natural attraction, now. right? And that's why like um. Like genetically, you are not supposed to be attracted to your relatives because naturally, like we have like the same kind of scent, the same kind of genes and stuff like that. So what if you are this like, crazy. what does that mean? You got some psychological mm -hmm. issues going up there in your head? Yeah, that's why the kids don't come out right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the bloodlines be too, you got too many, too much alike. You're supposed to be um, attracted to things that are, your, that things that your DNA is missing, for lack of better terms, you know? Mm-hmm. But yes, girl, so people, if you are in a relationship and you're on birth control, then be careful. Be very careful. Because, <laughs> especially if you in you in, in a toxic-ass relationship. People being crazy Rick in CEO love. said, that's crazy. People <laughs> yes. be in love, but when the baby comes, they break they up. They break up. Yeah, that's true. I ain't gonna lie. I always thought that that was because the baby hollering all night girl, long. Girl, I did too. I so y'all so just said this conversation right here. But it's also not just because of the birth control, but it's because... A lot of shit change when that damn baby come. You, find you really real find out what type of man you're you dealing with. <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> it comes just yeah, real shit. Shout out to real life. Yes. Stars. Make sure you thumbs up this live if you are tuning in and rocking with us. And make sure you subscribe to Real Life Shoe Stars. Yes. yes. Well, y'all got anything else y'all want to get off y'all chest? I think that's it for the night, child. Oh, housekeeping. So, if you like Ladies Get In Free, the podcast, then you can tune in on Spotify as well as pretty much all podcast platforms. You can find us on there. Or you can watch us right here on YouTube by subscribing follow to us. Yes. Follow us on our social medias. We'll have it linked down in the um, description box below, all of our social medias. And we won't be doing the show again until December 7th because... You know, we got holiday, holiday Thanksgiving's coming up, birthday people going on trips. trips. Right. Oh, like <laughs> birthday trips coming up. Y'all, Nikki, she be she be out. Outside. Be yeah. putting my Every business in I'm gonna be here in Dallas. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna be out. So that's it. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, y'all. Bye, y'all.